621, time for Howard's Illustrated Economics. And this morning, a closer look at June air capacity. Okay, June air seats are pretty flat compared to last year, but we will get 60,000 more seats than we got in May. We'll see how many of those seats have people in them. Here are the top domestic capacity sources this month. As usual, LAX is by far the largest domestic seat source, with twice the capacity of any other airport. In fact, if you add the two Tokyo airports, you get 113,000 seats. LAX has over twice that much airlift. Next, we get SFO, still second after losing 12% of its capacity, and SeaTac in a virtual tie after adding 7%. I used to leave out Las Vegas because that corridor was for locals flying east, but now Southwest flies the corridor and it has a Las Vegas hub. So a lot of people could at least, we, we don't know yet how much of that westbound travel winds up here, but it could be a, a source of Las Vegas transfers. People who start their vacation somewhere else change planes in Las Vegas and wind up here. The next four airports, all sending us 45 to 50,000 June seats, are Oakland, Phoenix, San Diego, and Denver. No other airport, domestic or foreign, comes close to that. 